some more Sabbath school programs. I'm Miss Rhonda. Here's Roman, my grandson, who's going to be helping us today. He's dressed like little boy Jesus. Could you guess that? And our program this time is about happy boy Jesus. We want you to come and enjoy it with us. Now, if you tell your moms and dads, in the description below, there will be a link. And in that link, you can find all of the words to all the songs that we're singing with all of our props listed as well. So if you have your mom and dad click on that link, it will take you to our church website and you can print this off for yourself. So you'll have all the words and you'll have all the props that you need so that you can do this program with us at home. It'll be so much more fun. I'm so happy you're here with us, and we're going to get ready now to start our Sabbath school. Well, it's time for Sabbath school to begin, and if you listen carefully, you might hear the, the clock tick-tocking and telling you it's time for Sabbath school. So let's get our sticks, and let's make the clock sound together. Are you ready? Be Jesus to come and be here with us, don't we? So when we pray, we bend our knees and fold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Can you do that with us as we pray this morning? When it's time to pray, I bend my knees, fold my hands, close my for this wonderful Sabbath day. I thank you for all these boys and girls that they can come and join us in our Sabbath school. We invite you to be here with us, Jesus, and your angels too. Thank you, Jesus, for coming, and we love you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for study our Sabbath school lessons at home, don't we? And our Sabbath school lessons come from a very special book. Do you know what that book is? What is it, Roman? The Bible. It's the Bible. I have a real little Bible here. Roman has a pretend little Bible, and inside it has lots of pictures. 
This is God's word to us. It is very, very special. So as we learn our lessons every week from the Bible, we should be thanking God for his word. It's his special word just for us. Shall we sing our Bible song, the B-I-B-L-E? Let's sing it together as you look at your little Bible. The B-I-B-L-E. To keep it holy. To keep it holy. Exodus 28. Exodus 28. Very good. I'm so glad you're learning your memory verses, boys and girls. Putting your God's word in your little brain is a really good thing for you to do. Let's clap our hands and sing. I'm glad I learned my memory verse. I'm glad I learned my fun too. Are you ready, Roman? Okay, let's go for a ride.
Another way that little boy Jesus would help was he would help with children. Jesus loved little children and especially little babies. And if a baby was crying, I can just imagine little Jesus would grab that little baby and love it and hug it and tell it not to cry. So I'm going to get out my little baby and Roman's got a nice baby. Let's rock our babies and tell them not to cry, shall we? Daddy Joseph was a carpenter, and he worked in his shop all day long building furniture, I can imagine, and anything that was needed that people wanted. Well, I can imagine that little boy Jesus liked to help his daddy in the, in the carpenter shop, don't you think so? Let's help Joseph in the carpenter shop today by getting a hammer or a little saw. Pretend ones, of course, and let's help in the carpenter shop, shall we? something to play with or something that they did where they had to take turns. So let's take turns this morning. Roman's going to ride, then it'll be your turn, okay? I'll take turns with my tractor. I'll take turns with you. I'll take turns with my tractor. For Jesus wants me to. All right, are you done your ride? Now I'm sure that Jesus also had two of something and maybe somebody else didn't have any and he wanted them to be happy too. So Jesus learned to share what he had with others. Maybe it wasn't a horse like Roman has, but maybe it was even his food. Maybe two pieces of bread and he saw somebody who didn't have any and he was willing to share with them. So let's pretend we're sharing this morning, shall we? I have two horses and a to your dog or cat while we sing our song. gentle care of them. Let's gently pet our kitty cats while we sing. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats, the kitty cats, the kitty cats. Little Jesus liked to pet the kitty cats when he was a child. Do you hear the bird, Roman? That's a beautiful sound, isn't it? 
I love to hear the birdies sing, and I'll bet Jesus did too. Shall we pretend we're birds today and sing along while we flap our wings and fly around like a birdie? Okay, let's do it. Little Jesus liked to hear the birdies sing, the birdies sing. imagine that Jesus liked to sing too, don't you? I think so. When we sing, it somehow makes us happy, doesn't it? It lifts our spirits. So we're not only going to sing, we're going to play some instruments. So if you have some instruments, even if you have an oatmeal can that you can pound on, let's make some joyful noise to Jesus as we sing, shall we? Not only did little Jesus learn to sing, but I'm sure that little Jesus learned to pray too, didn't he? He loved to pray to his Father in heaven. And what do we do when we pray, Roman? How can we pray? We can kneel, we can bow our head, fold our hands, and close our eyes. Let's do that while we sing this time, shall we? Jesus, I am sure he loved going to the synagogue, which is what they called church back in those days, with his mom and dad on Sabbath mornings. And before he would go at his home, I'm sure he studied the scriptures. His mommy taught him from the scripture scrolls, just like your mommy and daddy teach you from the Bible. So Jesus would go every week as he would go to the synagogue, and he would see the priests there or the rabbis reading from the scrolls. And as he got older, he went to the temple in Jerusalem with his mom and dad. And he had learned the scripture scrolls so well that he was able to talk with the very learned men there in the temple. Let's take our little scrolls and let's sing this morning about Jesus in the temple. Thank you. Too, but I love the Sabbath. The Sabbath is such a happy day, and I'm sure Jesus loved it too. Let's clap our hands this morning and sing Sabbath is a happy day, shall we? Sabbath is a happy day. that having Jesus in their home made their home very happy. Just like your mom and dad are so happy that you're in their family. Let's sing this morning about with Jesus in our family. We have such a happy home, right? Let's sing together. With Jesus in the family.
Well, boys and girls, Jesus made his home such a happy place to be in, and he was happy all the time. He was never pouting, was he? And do you know, he's happy even now, and he loves us so, so much. And I want to show my love for Jesus too, don't you? Let's bring our hearts this morning and give them to Jesus. Jesus loves me. Just before we get to our Bible lesson, let's get some wiggles out, shall we? Can you stand up tall with, with me and with Roman? And let's do some actions together. I can stand up tall like this, like this. So I can stand up tall for Jesus made me that way. Can you swing your arms? I can swing my arms like this, like this. So I can swing my arms for Jesus made me that way. Can you march? March around like this, like this, so I can march around for Jesus made me that way. How about turn around? I can turn around like this, like this, so I can turn around for Jesus made me that way. Can you clap your hands? I can clap my hands. school and church and spend time with mom and dad and just have a fun day together and worshiping Jesus and God. Well, let's go to our lesson. We've been learning about Jesus making our world. Do you remember what Jesus made on each day? On day number one, he created light. On day number two, he made the air and he separated the air from the water. So there were clouds and there was land. On day three, he made all the trees and all the grass and the flowers and all those wonderful things. On day four, he made the sun and the moon and the stars. On day five, he made the fish and the birds. And on day six, what did he make on day six? Do you remember? He made animals. Lots and lots and lots of animals on day six. Animals of all kinds. Wild animals, tame animals, but were the animals wild then? No, we didn't have to be afraid of any lion or tiger or bear or any kind of animal. We didn't have to be afraid of sharks when Jesus made them at first because all of the animals were perfect and they were gentle and they were friendly. After making all the animals, what did Jesus make next? That's right, he made man. Now, did he just speak and make man? No, Jesus did something very special. He carefully made the man, didn't he? And what did he name the man? Do you remember his name? His name was Adam and Jesus himself breathed life into Adam and Adam became a living 
human being, just like you and me. Jesus showed the animals and the birds and the fish to Adam, and Adam named them all. He knew just what to name each animal. Let's look at our picture here. Can you name any of these animals? Let's see what we have here. What's this animal up here? Why, that's a lion. And what do we have here? Dogs. And these silly animals? Zebras. They look like they're wearing striped pajamas, don't they? And these big guys with the long necks? Why, yes, they're giraffes. How about these? Oh, friendly old bears. And teeny tiny frogs. And turtles. And kitties. And even insects and bugs. Bunnies. And here are the kitties and the butterflies. And what do we have here? Hedgehogs. And last but not least down there, we have elephants. Jesus made so many kinds of wonderful animals for us. Adam looked around and he said, there's nobody just like me though. These animals weren't like Adam, were they? No, Adam was looking for someone just like himself. Jesus knew how much, much Adam would want someone like himself, and he had also planned a person for Adam just to be like him. First, Jesus let Adam go to sleep. While Adam was sleeping, Jesus made a beautiful woman for him. He must have been so happy when Jesus woke him up and he saw this beautiful woman by his side and he called her Eve. In just six days, Jesus had made our beautiful world and two beautiful people. It was all finished. But how many days are there in a week? Let's say the names of the days and count them on our fingers. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Are there seven days? Yes. Saturday or Sabbath is the seventh day. That's the seventh one. He had made seven days. Jesus made our world in six days, then he made one more day. He made the Sabbath day, and it's the very best day of the week. Oh, here, I forgot to show you a picture. Do you wanna see this picture? This is Jesus talking with Adam and Eve after he made them. And now let's go to our next picture and see what Jesus made. Oh, here's a beautiful picture of the Sabbath day. When the sun set on the sixth day, Jesus said, it is now the Sabbath. And that was the seventh day. When does it begin? It begins when the sun goes down on Friday. That's when the Sabbath days begin. Sabbath day begins, and that is day number seven. Sabbath is a very special day. It's a present from Jesus to all the people of the world. Jesus is with us all the time, but Sabbath is a special day for Jesus to be with us. Let's see what our next picture shows us. Can you see our next picture? On the Sabbath day, Jesus didn't make anything more. He wanted Adam and Eve to enjoy that day with him. And so what are some things we can enjoy on the Sabbath day? Well, what is this a picture of up here? It's a picture of a bird. We can enjoy the birds Jesus made on the Sabbath day. We can enjoy the animals that Jesus made like our dogs. He wants us to go out in nature and see these beautiful things. We can enjoy the butterflies in nature. We can enjoy taking a walk and seeing a lovely stream and flowers. Look at these beautiful things that Jesus has made. We can also learn more about Jesus by going to Sabbath school and church, can't we? Do you go to Sabbath school and church? 
Well, you're in Sabbath school right now, aren't you? We can learn of him there. We can learn of Jesus when we go out for a walk with our family. We can learn about more of him on the Sabbath day just by being together with our families and learning from them or from reading stories. How about if we visit somebody who is sick and maybe we can take them a little friend or take them some food? Oh, Jesus likes us to do those kinds of things on the Sabbath day. When Jesus made our world, he loved to help people and make them happy on the Sabbath. Can we do that too? Yes, we can be happy on the Sabbath and we can help to make other people happy too on the Sabbath, can't we? Would you like to sing with me before we end and we'll just do it without our piano today? We can just sing the song, Sabbath is a happy day. Will you clap your hands with me and sing with me? Sabbath is a happy day. Would you like to say your memory verse with me? Your memory verse is, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Let's say it together, shall we? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Exodus 20 verse eight. I'm so happy Jesus gave us the Sabbath. Aren't you happy too? I love the Sabbath. It's the most special day of the week. Shall we have prayer as we end our lesson today? Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for giving us your Sabbath. It's a special day to spend with you and with our family and with all the wonderful things you've made for us. We ask that you will be with us the rest of this Sabbath day and in through the new week. We pray this in Jesus' name. We've had a wonderful time with you this week, boys and girls. And we're going to miss you until we see you again next Sabbath. So let's say goodbye to each other, shall we? Our Sabbath.